Good morning. This is my first YouTube live video. Um, this is interesting because I thought you couldn't do live videos until you had a thousand people on your channel. So trying this out. Anyways, had a bit of an epiphany last night. Last night I was watching a show. My wife and I were watching a uh, modern family on uh, Netflix. And, uh, this is one particular episode with this character, Cam and his partner, they, they've got this adopted child and she's out and they're flicking all the switches at they're at Claire's house. Flick, 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 goes to the next one, flick, 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 and it's really annoying for, the, for Claire. So Cam is, you know, trying to encourage her to not do that by avoiding the parental, by using the parental advice of not telling your child no, and to just kind of give them something different to put their attention on. And Claire's like, no, 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 I'm saying no, using the word no. And then Cam's like, stop, you know, we don't, we don't use the word no. And it's interesting because you have this situation where two opposing views on raising children. And it kind of got me down this mental journey of some of my experiences where I felt I was effective in certain consulting roles and areas where even in some of those engagements, I wasn't as effective as they wanted to be. And I'm thinking about cases where when I went in to work with a, a particular client, so a director of IT, I, I worked with him and, um, he, I got, I gave him excellent service and he wanted to, I, we, we matched really well. It worked out super, super good. But then in doing the work with a lot of project stuff, we have to work with some other teams and I didn't feel like I gelled with those people. And so it's kind of like <clears throat> analysis to this whole thing of when I tell people how to run a business or show them ideas that I, I've gone through that I know can help improve your your day or and I, I'm using this channel really around people are like don't don't tell me how to run my business you don't you're not you're not here you're not living it and breathing it with me and I had a chat with a, a interesting fellow yesterday he's a, a broker and he resonated the same experiences where he's spoken to a lot of companies who are trying to sell their business and the business owners are like well I want to sell my business for a million bucks and then they do the the, the valuation on the business. I'm like, well, it's closer to like two hundred thousand dollars. And then the guy's like, you know, forget it. I, you know, blah, blah. and he leaves, right? Because he doesn't want to listen to outside perspective. And so, long story short, all this kind of comes together. It makes me think, you know, there's there's something really there about don't tell me how to raise my kids. And even uh, it's it's how I maybe approach things, and I. I Maybe it's the perception of how I approach things or how I'm received in my communication style. Because I like to tell people what I've experienced because I've kind of lived it and breathed it and I have reasons for that. And I think my epiphany is that by um, realizing that people are very protective of their way of thinking, because if I think back to that television show last night, you got Claire who's trying to tell him what to do. He's like, no, I've already read a book about how to raise a kid. I've already found out, out the solution to my my pain. I don't I don't need to be told what to do on how to raise my kids. And I think that's how a lot of people are in, in business. Because until you have a pain, until that, that Cam character has asked Claire, can you help me with this? I don't know what to do. I recognize you have an experience on this. Can you please help me? So if they don't acknowledge the problem, they're not aware that they have that issue still or that the, the solution that they've tried or been trying isn't actually working. So that's an interesting epiphany because I think I'll be able to use that understanding in how I even talk on this channel, present information, because I think it's um, it's interesting when you think about parenting because I did a kind of just a quick Google search this morning on parenting, you know, misbehaving children. There's a lot of conflicting and opposing views and books and courses and videos and this it's a gamut it's, it's there's a lot of stuff out there and you know I, I know in, in this amazon fba space there's a lot it's the same thing it's almost like a bunch of choices of religions you can go and pick whatever you whatever resonates and what you believe with and so everyone's out there saying hey i've got my truth at least listen to me do what i say and so then the people who are looking for solutions find it but if you're not find, looking for a solution you believe you're at a point where you've already got a solution. Your things are working good enough. So 
No, that's interesting. I don't know. Maybe this is just you know first you know first principles for you and uh, intellectually I got it before, but it's a new different. It's a different take or a different viewpoint on this, and that's it's a, it's been. I've been. I, I woke up early this morning. I was thinking about it again, and I went to bed sleeping thinking about it, and I was just like, "There's a really interesting dynamic there about you know, don't tell me how to raise my kids because that's the same emotion that I've experienced where people are saying, "Don't tell me how to do my job." Or in other other scenarios, don't tell me how to run my business. So I'm like, hmm, it's a very safe. There's the same emotion there. There's a tendency where we resist outside influence, and I think even just sometimes when I there's a little sort of a, a moment of conflict with my with in my relationship with my wife, I'll explain something or talk about something, and then she'll tell me something that I should do, and it's like, well, uh, no, um, because I don't feel like she's got the appreciation of my experience or my situation or something like that. And so I don't feel like it's, uh, so I, I, can, I get that. I understand that. I'm, so I'm connecting all these dots finally. And that's, that's the epiphany I'm having, I'm sharing it. Try this, this uh, YouTube live. I've been talking for six minutes and wow, well, was six minutes. Anyways, I uh, hope that was useful for somebody out there. Uh, just think about how you're talking to people and think about how you're, sharing things. And if you have a message to say, uh, uh, I'm not sure what the right answer is totally yet, but I'm going to get there and think it through and I'll share with you what I think when I get to that point. So I'll talk to you soon. Cheers.